comments the Dynamics GP Blobster here. In my previous episode, you saw how we actually went through all the prerequisites for Power Platform ALM. Today, I'm going to actually cover some additional uh, configuration options in Azure DevOps, but I'm also going to get you going with building your application and adding that to a solution. So for this particular case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a template Use one of the existing Power Apps template to build out an application, and then we're gonna add that to the solution or to the developer solution. We're gonna actually see how that process works, and you're gonna get a chance to experience the, the different DevOps settings that are required to configure or to, to connect your DevOps environment to your Power Platform environment, in this case, your Power Apps environment. So uh, let's see how it's done, stay tuned. And please, please, please don't forget to comment. So see you in a second. Okay, so we're back here in the Power Apps Design Studio. And the first thing we wanna make sure is we have the proper environment before we have. So we're gonna start out with our dev environment. This is our ALM dev, but we also have our production and QA. Um, so I'm just gonna choose the ALM dev. And what we want to do from here is we want to use one of the existing application templates and we're going to proceed and build our application from that. So one of the most common ones is the expense application, which I'm going to locate here and I'm going to click on this, my expenses, and I'm going to start building my application from that point. So let's give this a name. We'll call this appropriately my expenses. Uh, note that this connects to SharePoint, so we want to uh, probably authorize SharePoint down the road, but for now I'm going to hit Create. So of course this is going to go ahead and set up the app for me. So now that things are ready, I'm going to have to authorize my access to SharePoint, so we want to just click on the Allow button to proceed. Everything else uh, starts to get ready and we're going to skip this welcome screen here and then we're just going to present the app or connect to the app. So now this app is actually pretty straightforward. It has a uh, set of, um, you know, elements to it. So you can check your data sources just to make sure there's any. You can actually check and uh, see if you have any other type of elements that are part of this product. So you can check on the actions. Um, maybe you have some flows, etc., that are associated to it. But um, for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play around a little bit. So we're gonna run this um, in test mode. So I'm just gonna click over here on the play button. We can see that we have a few pending uh, expenses. We have some approved ones, so we can click on pending. We can click on approve and see where we are. I uh, can go back to open and see what we have open, etc. Okay, that's not the point. The point of this video is to show you how to integrate this into ALM. So I'm just gonna click on file and save, and that's gonna allow me to actually save this application, which I'm gonna call my expenses. I'm still gonna keep that name, and I'm gonna go ahead then and click on the save button. So let's just scroll down here um, and click save. So it's gonna save my app for me. Okay, once this is done, what I'm gonna do then is I'm just gonna close this out for now. We're not gonna do anything special. We're just gonna go ahead and close the app. And then we're gonna return to the main Power Apps menu from which um, close this down to, just click on leave here. And then I'm gonna just click on uh, solutions because what I wanna do now is I wanna take my ALM solution and I'm gonna proceed to add the uh, existing My Expenses application, which is a Canvas app uh, that was created outside the solution. I'm gonna select it here and then add it to my um, ALM solution. So that's a good starting point. Uh, once we add the uh, the app itself, what we're gonna then do is we're gonna go ahead and check maybe if you have flows, you wanna verify that you have flows that are associated to that app, just to make sure you're including everything. And of course, if you have flows, then you can go back and add them just like you add the, added the app. 
Now keep in mind there are some considerations there. So you're not going to want to miss those considerations. I'm going to put a link to the page and then um, we will uh, proceed from there. But then I'm going to go back to solutions here. I'm going to choose my ALM solution. I can see my expenses as a part of that. And then what I'm going to do then is I'm going to publish all the customizations for this particular solution. Um, okay, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm just going to click here and click publish customizations. There we go. And now I got to wait a couple seconds until my customizations are fully published. Okay, now that we're done, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go back to um, Azure DevOps. So I'm going to switch over here on my browser to the Azure DevOps tab. And I actually have my ALM Power Apps project. So I'm going to open that project. And one of the things that we didn't do the last time is initialize the repository. So we're going to click on that option to initialize the repository. And there is an initialize button, which is then going to set up this repository as a uh, with a readme file. So that's the first thing we need to do. So now that the repository is set up, there's a couple of things that I'm going to show you as it relates to um, the settings. So if we go and click down on the settings side of the lower left corner, that's where we're going to um, begin looking at those. So uh, there we go. That's the settings button. So we want to click on that. And um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that there is a, a collaborative approach to my repo. So if I click on repositories down here and go on the permissions, we want to make sure that the one that we're looking for is that everybody in my team can contribute. So we want to allow contribution. If you want to double check, you can always go back to the individual repository itself and then click on permissions as well there. And you can confirm that to make sure that it's all allowed. And in this case, it's inherited because I set it at the main uh, level. So um, that said, we can then go back and um, conclude this initial part. And um, I will then go ahead and uh, show you how to deploy your customization to this particular repository. I like to get all the configuration out of the way first. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a service connection. That service connection is what's going to allow me to link my DevOps environment to my um, Power Apps environment. So I'm going to just click here on create service connection. And for now, I'm going to set up a generic connection. Generic connections don't have access to multi-factor authentication. We'll see how you do that. But the first thing I got to do is I got to set up a server URL. And that's nothing more than the connection to the environment. If you are unsure, just click on settings, go to your admin center. And um, what I'm going to do here then is just grab the URL that I must use from the environment setup page. So once the environment launches here, I can go to ALM dev, which is my environment. I'm going to click there and I'm going to see the actual URL. So I'll just highlight that basically. And I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go back to the uh, settings page and type in or uh, paste that out, then type in HTTPS just to make it a valid URL. Um, I'm going to enter my credentials. So mariano.com.com and then my password or um, token information uh, for that credential. Now, credentials are optional, but you can do that nonetheless. So this we're going to call ALM development environment. And you can add a description if you want. The most important thing is to grant access and permissions to all the pipelines. That way we can set up our build pipeline properly. So here we are. I'm going to show you the second um, method. So this one allows you to actually do multi-factor authentication. So there is a specific power platform option. So if you click on that and click next, that's going to set up, send you to the setup page. Same thing, the server URL is nothing more than the environment. Then you have the tenant, the application ID and client secrets. I actually had a video that shows how to do that, but um, I'm going to refresh your memory here quickly. So if you click on the new page for the browser, uh, we're going to add a new tab. We're going to go to the Azure portal. And once we're in there, I want to load quickly the um, Azure Active Directory settings. First, I'm going to authenticate here. And if you click on Azure Active Directory, 
that should take you to the AAD setup page. And what you want to do then is you want to go to the application registration, and that's where you would basically register a new app for um, your Power uh, Platform, in this case, Power Apps Environment. So you would click on new registration, and in essence, that will give you some uh, credentials and um, secrets that in, a, in particular an app ID and the secrets for that app ID. Okay, so in essence, we've covered the prerequisites. We've covered some additional Azure DevOps setup, and we also uh, added our application to a solution using a standard template application provided by the platform. So you could see how you can leverage that as well. But the idea then is in our final installment, we'll be actually walking through the build pipeline and we'll be showing you how to uh, move applications between environments. So stay tuned for the next uh, episode and I'll see you soon.